regardless, let's do this, Scott. There's a there's a there's a question that popped up from from Bernard, uh, and he says, "Do you observe any uptick of buyers moving to Oahu due to more remote work arrangements from the mainland? If so, how significant is the increase, and do you anticipate more of these types of buyers?" Uh, Bernard also asks, "What are the top two or three areas on Oahu that have the biggest concentration of Japanese buyers and residents?" Uh, Scott, I don't know what order you want to take. Let's let's kind of hit the, the first one. Uh, are, are are you catching anything uh, from uh, people you know that are you know uh, basically relocating because they could work remotely? I'm 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 seeing stories about it very much. Yeah. So. Oh, very much so. I mean, you had rolling blackouts, you had COVID. And then you had um, wildfires in California and that West Coast. And yeah, we've seen quite a few people, especially in the higher end. I'm seeing it where it, just in Kahala, where I brought that listing on a couple of weeks ago, we had eight sales in the previous six months. And in the last 90 days, we had eight escrows and like six closings. And, and a lot of that was coming from, you know, that West Coast buyer wanting to get out of that that scenario. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're seeing it. We're also seeing people wanting to exit the condo some I, I somebody came by my open house from park lane who where it's him and his wife living there and when when the family comes over they use all the these fabulous amenities well all the amenities are shut down now and they're all confined to this interior condo space so now they're looking to gravitate to the single family home where they can have a yard they can have it walled in they can have space and privacy and and the home really becomes a sanctuary much more of a sanctuary than prior to COVID. So I'm seeing both of those mo movement away from condos and an exodus from areas where you can people can work remotely. That LA producer just bought on Alki Avenue was a, is an exact example of that he accelerated his movement outside of getting out of LA and and wanting to be here and, and doing more of the remote access. And a tech tech guy from San Francisco just uh, looked at that property the other day. Same sort of concept. He can work remotely from here rather than what he was going to do was vice versa. He was going to spend some time here as a vacation home, but a majority in the Silicon Valley area where now it's reversed. He's going to spend his time here and commute back to California. That is going to be an interesting dynamic of uh, the work from home thing. Uh, uh, the other stories I, I have caught on the work from home, uh, people re relocating here are uh, what we call expats, expatriates, ex folks that were born and raised here, moved to the mainland for one reason or another, and now can do a, a, a remote work, and they're just moving back home, sometimes into the family home, and uh, they're moving back. So, so Bernard, uh, lots of people kind of going on that. How significant a uh, time will, will tell? I don't think there's, there's any hard statistics yet. I think it's early in the game, but you're, 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 you're hearing a bunch of... Uh,